So how did you originally get into playing soccer? Yeah, my soccer journey kind of started how, you know, I think most kids in California start. I started in AYSO, which is like just like the youth organization down in Southern California with, I have three brothers. And I kind of just like took a liking to it. I had like a talent for it. So kind of continued through that system, did like select soccer, did club soccer, um, then ended up going to college for it. And now I find myself here professionally, which I don't know if I first envisioned um, when I first began. How did you kind of start with music? Yeah, I definitely got involved with music from an early age. Um, I grew up in a musical family, so it's kind of always been a part of my life. And um, I really kind of started performing when I was singing background in my mom's band. Yeah, I, I think I got like professional music experience really early on, which kind of just set me up for this career. Went to music school and then moved to New York and just kind of went full steam ahead pursuing music full time. Oh, that's amazing. I think, you know, I, I don't know if people think about soccer being that creative, but I definitely think it, it definitely holds its own creative space. That's a great song, honestly. Thank um, you. I really like the guitar um, in the song. I mean, I think that's what I, it's probably one of my favorite instruments. Mm. But yeah, I kind of like the build. I like the tempo of the song, how it kind of like comes up and then comes back down. And even the lyrics, I think I can really relate to that. I think yeah. you said, um, <laughs> leave the house to get a shitty cup of coffee. Yeah. You know? Like, is this what happy people do? The part with like turning on the TV to like drown out your thoughts. And I'm like, yeah. I do that all the time yeah. because sometimes like when I my mind starts to ramble, it can become like crazy. So you try to come up with every distraction and you know, sometimes you just put the TV on for sound to kind of drown out those things. So yeah, man, such a great song. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. I think a lot about the human condition and I feel like especially now we're all comparing ourselves to each other. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I think if we were all a little bit more vulnerable, then we would understand that all of us are going through things. And mm -hmm. to me, happiness is a moment, yeah. you know? It's I can have a happy moment in a day mm -hmm. and still feel like I had a bad day mm -hmm. or whatever it mm -hmm. is, you know? Yeah. Have you ever had a moment, I think this happens to me sometimes, where you almost have too many wins coming at the same time and you start to like get a little nervous, like, because oh. then it's like, when is the low coming? Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I feel like probably for you too, like at the beginning, even though you have like those pitfalls, like the growth is exponential. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like the more opportunities you're getting, the more that are coming in. Yeah. You know? Yeah, exactly. And I think, you know, ultimately, I mean, I obviously this sport is finite. Like you can't do it forever because eventually my body will fail. I can't. Right. Um, you know, do this for the rest of my life. And so it's the thought about like, how do I use the experience that I'm in now mm. to sort of drive me into the future and what I decide to do in the future. Like currently right now, I have like a nonprofit with the Black Women's Player Collective um, with some players that I play with on my team and um, other players in the league. And, you know, one of the things that we do mostly is trying to like shape the narrative around black women in sports, because I don't think it hasn't really been spoken about as much. And we kind of started this um, around the pandemic time because mm. um, there was a lot of, you know, social unrest during that time. And we had to come together and thought it was important that we had a group in place where our voices could be heard and elevated. And so through that, I think I meet a lot of people like in the nonprofit space, but in all walks of life. and. 
It's been really beneficial for me to see like, even if I'm not playing anymore, there's still a way I can stay in the sport, even if it's like in the realm of just giving opportunity for more girls. I am also super interested in, um, you know, as I become more successful, being able to give back, you yeah, know? Definitely. And being able to uplift girls in music production mm -hmm. specifically, mm -hmm. because a lot of the opportunities that I have gotten as a female producer have been through organizations that are intending to uplift women in music, yeah. you know? Yeah. Creating opportunities for young women and for them to kind of be able to see representation and say, absolutely, that's something I could do, mm -hmm. you know? Absolutely. You know, you were saying like music production is a male dominated field and the same thing with women's soccer, oddly yeah. enough, you know? it's not a very welcoming field to be in. And mm -hmm. I definitely want to be a part of this change where you make these spaces a lot more welcoming, mm -hmm. you know, for women to explore and to be in. Cause I think, you know, we are capable, obviously. We know we are capable. It's yeah. just, you know, that opportunity and you just making sure that that space is a place and built so that we know we can thrive. I just wanted to say that it's been such a blessing and um, I'm really grateful to have had the opportunity to speak with you. And I think in our conversation I noticed more parallels than I thought I would. And I know we were just talking about if we were to switch places, I wouldn't really kick a ball around very well and you may not play guitar as well. But it's cool to just have that sense of camaraderie, Absolutely. you know, and just learn a bit more about each other. So thank you yeah. for being here with me. Yeah, thank you as well. I think this has been an amazing conversation. And like I said earlier, like music has always been sort of a part of my life. And so to be, you know, with the producer, you know, songwriter, singer is an incredible experience. And thank you for sharing so much with me and it's been incredible and thank you for your vulnerability as well.